mm-hmm. and the next part is stemming so what stemming does is uh, if we have some examples like fight fighter fighting uh, you may have some additional uh, words similar to fight mm-hmm. so if you have these uh, different words means uh, while doing tokenization itself uh, you will be considering yeah. this as a word this as a separate word this as a separate yeah. word but okay. if you consider the meaning all the things are almost the same so fighting is also the same here also fight is also same mm-hmm. so at that time what stemming does is it will actually contract this words this it will remove these things yeah the tense is or whatever it's called yeah so the yeah. end result will be fight so right. what you are doing right. is right. um you are just converting five different words into a common uh, domain or a gen- genre yeah that is uh, stemming and uh, next is uh, lemmatization so it is also a part of uh, stemming uh, it also contracts the word sometimes uh, while doing stemming it also has uh, another uh, drawback let's say cause or uh, causing it will just convert this into cause so mm-hmm. this word the st- doesn't have uh, that much meaning right mm-hmm. compared to this one so mm-hmm. uh in order to avoid this But things j- just a question uh, yeah. does it take is it like uh truncation march search if you're familiar with that yeah is i it it's almost doing uh, that in reverse yeah it is almost similar to tr- truncating only it almost okay, okay. see i it just uh, getting this common word okay yeah, yeah so it um, so okay yeah in order to overcome that uh, we'll be using a uh, lemmatization what it mm-hmm. does is it also does the similar thing but it actually gives us a word so if you just mm-hmm. input this cause and causing means mm-hmm. it'll actually give like this it will have a more meaningful uh, word compared to this stemming words can you can you pick that word or will it pick uh, the most no it, it has a, it has a module so okay. uh, all these things is modules only you can uh, able to use this for a regular normalization you need to use a regular expression apart uh-huh. from the stemming is a module lemmatization is module tokenization is module everything is yeah, well, available in nltk modules but when you say it's a module uh, do you mean that it's everything is preset yeah okay it's not so that in, in this case let's say i i wanted causing instead of cause uh, would it be able to get causing instead or would it be take calls because no, uh, it has some predefined uh, corpus like i already mentioned they have a huge amount of corpus for uh, each language right so they have some predefined algorithms for this if you want to customize the algorithms means you can able to do um, by uh, digging the code and do some modifications yeah but it is not that much uh, uh, advisable without knowing full theoretical part so yeah. it may go to 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 but uh, it depends based on the scenario mm-hmm. only another yeah, example sure. yeah. for uh, for this lemmatization is if you say beta or uh, some other words related to it will just actually convert it to good better mm-hmm. best so mm-hmm. it will also uh, convert these words into a common yeah. uh, word Yeah and just uh, so I'm 100% sure before we continue right now mm-hmm. it it will be i uh, the only way i could have got better best than these varied variations to become for instance if i wanted the word better instead i wanted instead of good i wanted better right okay. uh, then i have to go in and edit the code right because this is preset correct yeah it's almost a uh preset uh, if you can see the these three things are almost uh, related right yeah, yeah so sure. based on that only uh, they have defined the algorithm yeah. so if you want yeah, the word uh, as it is means we just uh, avoid this lemmatization step yeah so all these steps are for uh, basic machine learning stuff 
all these yeah. things you won't be using in uh, deep learning that has a uh, different uh, way of pre processing so we will uh, get to know that uh, later on so i'll just okay. uh, explain for uh, machine learning first and uh, yes let's leave some space and uh, next one is corpus so like i already uh, mentioned we have uh, various uh, corpus that are related mm -hmm. to each other even if you can have a corpus for uh, language translation if you want mm -hmm. to convert uh, english language to russian language means you need to yep. use uh, two corpus so that will be multilingual mm -hmm. so usually this corpus will be in uh, gigabytes because a lot so much amount of data will be there if you want to go for language translation or some deep learning stuff means you will be using this corpus but but most of the time i uh, will be using uh, only english that is the majority yeah. of the concentration yeah and there, it's also only the interest for me yeah okay and the next one is stop words mm -hmm. uh you can consider the stop words as uh, the word which has a uh, two or three characters only let's consider a uh, the this uh, is all these things are considered as a uh, stop words so this all the things are uh, repeated in all the sentences right so this yeah. this uh, it don't convey actual meaning like this good better best so what we do is will be uh, removing all these stop words in uh, machine learning classification uh, for sentiment analysis and all so we will be removing majority of the frequent occurring words if we just uh, capture the frequent occurring words means this will be coming on the top with more than thousands mm -hmm. of uh, uh, instances so if you remove all these things means you will be getting meaningful words like fight good based on the corpus mm -hmm. yeah so it That's also improves your uh, model performance uh, by great uh, accuracy uh, after the stop words next one is parts of speech so this will be a subject verb adverb similar to this uh, it will just figure out automatically uh, based mm. on the center sentence structure so if you just uh, give this as a sentence it mm. will automatically uh, point out this word belongs to the this category this word belongs to this category so like that uh, it will automatically uh, give you this is also a module that you can use from nltk um, i am not entirely sure i follow the purpose of this could you repeat that again the purpose uh, of part of speech so if if you give a sentence like this means mm -hmm. um let's say okay let's uh, consider an example so if you consider both these things um for same words they have me different meaning right so yeah. fight can be uh, considered as verb sometimes uh, fight can be considered as subject yeah so you need if you want to identify this means uh, you need to use this parts of speech module mm -hmm. so sometimes in nlp uh, if you want to understand the context of the whole sentence you will be using this uh, parts of speech as features for the model okay could you could you write that to understand the parts of the whole sentence or what what you said uh just as an explainer on that line um Yeah, uh, yeah. No, uh, on the line twenty-four, could you just add uh, uh, like uh, what you you describe it so to to understand whatever you said? Yeah. Okay. 